If someone cuts their finger or bumps their head, you get out your first aid kit. But what do you do if a loved one has a panic attack or symptoms of depression? Do you have a mental health first aid kit? You should, and you can get the tools to fill yours at a mental health first aid course. So when we take medical first aid and we have CPR, this is a CPR for mental health. This is the CPR for the mind, CPR for the soul. People with mental health issues should never be labeled as crazy or odd. These are real health issues that require treatment and understanding, and they're common too. One in five Americans will struggle with a mental health issue at some time in their lives. Labels don't help, learning does, and that's what a mental health first aid course is all about. At the course, you'll learn the signs of many common mental health issues. We see the ADHD, we see bipolar, eating disorder, the depression, some psychosis, and then also too, maybe there's a substance use disorder. You'll also learn the five steps to take if a crisis does occur using the acronym LG. A, to assess for risk of suicide of harm. L, listen non-judgmentally. G, giving reassurance and information. E, encouraging appropriate professional help. And E, encouraging self-help strategies and other support strategies. Learn about mental illness and you can help prevent a crisis or deal with one. I have been confronted with a situation in the past with, with a family member who attempted suicide. And, you know, at the time I really didn't know how to handle that. The training would have made me more prepared to help. Stack your mental health first aid kit by taking one of these courses. Training is available for dealing with adult or youth mental health issues. Go to michigan.gov slash mental health first aid to sign up for one near you.